A judge in Hines County has ruled Mississippi voters with pre-existing conditions can vote absentee in the November election. Although lawsuits have been filed in hopes to clarify temporary disability for absentee voting. Keandria Malloy spoke with a local voting organization about that ruling. Earlier this week, a Hines County judge, Denise Owens, ruled that voters in Mississippi who have underlying health conditions may vote absentee due to COVID-19 concerns. In mid-August, the American Civil Liberties Union and Mississippi Center for Justice filed a lawsuit asking a judge to clarify that voters who are concerned about COVID-19 can vote absentee in the November election. The lawsuit argues Mississippians shouldn't have to choose between their health and a vote. I spoke with the League of Women Voters of East Central Mississippi on their take of the lawsuit. That's the whole reason that lawsuits have popped up, because the law just didn't provide enough clarification about who is considered, you know, being at risk during this worldwide pandemic by voting in person. So that lawsuit just boils down to clarification. Ford believes the lawsuit isn't a bad thing. I think it, it's really good because it does clarify. I don't think the lawsuit is a bad thing. I think, I think oh. it's a good thing because it, it just, you know, helps everybody understand what's to happen and get on the same page. According to the Associate Press, Secretary of State Watson said Thursday he is appealing Owen's order to the state Supreme Court. He expressed in a statement he would like clarification so circuit clerks will know what does and doesn't qualify as temporary disability for absentee voting. I'm Keandria Malloy in Meridian.